Hi everybody, so it is Saturday 7th of December and Caleb and I have had a really busy day out um, doing a little bit of Christmas shopping, some things for ourselves but also some things for um, little gifts that we needed to get. Um, so we've had a really busy day, we went into Cambridge <clears throat> and we went to, Caleb's just saying hello to Licky over there, mm. giving him a kiss, you can see Licky's face just peeping out <laughs> from his top level of his, his home there. What are you giving him? Oh, that's his bar. Oh, okay. From his little piece from his bar. Okay, he'll probably nibble that. So we went to Primark, a Poundland, and a couple of other little kind of boutique shops and kiosks. Um, we did quite a bit of shopping, so we're going to just show you what we got, um, sort of in the order that we bought it. So the first place we stopped at was a place that sells um, coasters, so coasters for putting a drink on. And we bought several of these for gifts. So the Robin one, and excuse the little bits of straw on the carpet that this is picking up. Um, but the Robin one is for me. I always have the Robin as a memory of my dad who passed away when I was 20. Um, he was a keen gardener, loved talking to the Robins in the garden. And so um, I always have that as a memento of him. Um, it reminds me of him and therefore I've got a Robin one. Caleb chose that little piggy. I don't know if that's him or the Piggy Wiggy. Um, we got the Liverpool Fan Lives Here one for Caleb's best friend, who is a Liverpool fan. I got the Minnie Mouse for one of my team at work, who's just moved into her first home and is a Disney fan. I got the giraffe for another member of my team at work, who is a big giraffe fan. We got this one for me and Caleb to give to my mum. Only the best mums get promoted to nanny. We thought that was quite cool for her. We've got the guinea pig one, which is for Caleb's childminder, who loves guinea pigs. That's where we got Licky from. He was one of her um, guinea pig's offspring. So um, that one's for her. The hedgehog for the other member of my team at work who loves hedgehogs. Surprise, surprise. And so that was that we got eight all together. They're really lovely. They're glass and they're quite good quality. Um, and they just had so many different designs, didn't they? Hundreds. You yeah, know, like... like um... Um, if you're counting every single coaster, there's probably up almost 400. Yeah, there were loads, maybe even more than that. Yeah, there, there was, was like lots and five, lots. There was five. There was five or six of each coaster. Yeah. And there was like about almost 200 different coasters. Yep. So then from there we went to the card shop, and while we were in the card shop, we got Caleb. Do you want to share your little find? Uh, we. We got a sausage dog, and his name is Rebel. Um, we got a new we got a new sausage dog. A sausage dog. We got a new sausage dog. We got a teddy sausage dog, and his name is Rebel. And He's got a Christmas got, jumper. Yeah, and look at his little ears. Okay, Slap that up. is that. We picked up this pack of cards for Caleb to give to his friends at school. There's forty cards. And can you show the designs on them? So it's a Rudolph pug. Uh, um. A present bunny, a guinea pig. Wow. For Licky. Um, and um, a cat. A cat, elf cat. Ow. Elf cat with meowy Christmas. And then we got some little stick on tags, just because you can tags. never have enough gift tags at this time of the year. And then we did get some birthday cards that we needed. We got some Tony's birthdays coming up this week, so we got cards for him and then my aunt's birthday is next weekend so we got some cards for her mm -hmm. then from there we went next door to poundland really got mostly kind of household stuff in there but this um wrapping paper which has hold it still caleb which has the snowman on which is my favorite so i'm going to request that my presents get wrapped in that this year um that was a pound and then their regular wrapping paper was three for a pound so we picked out three um a Rudolph snowman uh and Santa on one. Yeah. And uh, Rudolph wait a reindeer uh Santa and a snowman on. Yeah. The second one is can I bounce these? Just drop them down, that's okay. fine. The second one is Christmas pudding. Yep. And the third one is snowmen. Little snowmen, okay. <laughs> so then we spent about twenty two pounds I think in Poundland altogether. So Caleb picked out some, some of six. these because they're his favourites, the Weetabix. Crispy Minis chocolate chip um, Weetabix. Weetabix. We got some 
Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Uh, active white. Active aqua fresh. Got we got, um, I got, I needed a fabric softener and I picked up this one, which is Comfort Creations Frosted Pine and Apple. Where it's real Christmassy kind of um, scent. So just for December, we're going to be smelling like Christmas trees when our clothes come out of the washing. Mm. <laughs> so that was that. And then we got a giant Haribo Straubs. That is Caleb's Childminder's favourite sweetie. So we're going to give her those with her coaster. And then I'm also taking her out for an evening out. We're going to see the movie version of Cats, which is my favourite musical. And she really loves it too. And so we're quite looking forward to seeing that together. It's on the end. It's, it says a name tag. And it says, your extraordinary to from. Your extraordinary. Yeah, your extraordinary. Okay. Then we got... We got... Like, we got actually... Okay, so I don't know how many are in here, but about 15. Yeah, we loads. turn it around so people can see what it is. Batteries. So loads and loads of batteries, and they're a pound a pack. Now, they might not last as long as the seven pounds a pack, which we saw at the grocery store and we were coming home. Um, but you know what? At this time of year, you just want some batteries that make things work. And so we've just stocked up on double A's and triple A's. And then one of Caleb's favourite snacks, the fish and chips, salt and vinegar flavour. So we grabbed some of those there's, while we were there. There's 14 batteries in each pack. So that means we got 20, 30, 37 in yep. total, 30, 28 in total. Turn that around to the purple side. So I've got these for my mum. She loves Turkish Delight. And these are like a bit like after eights, but they have Turkish Delight in the middle. So I just thought that would make a nice little stocking stuffer for her. And then Caleb asked if he could get some mouthwash. So this is the Listerine that's quite mild, so it's suitable for older children. Um, so he picked up some of that. We've got another Aquafresh toothpaste, the cavity protection one. I got a little um, soft and gentle um, deodorant stick. And then we got this um, Glade candle which is spiced apple and cinnamon and it smells lovely so we're going to have that burning in our hallway i think near the front door over christmas smells good yeah okay so that was our poundland hall then after poundland we went into a couple of little boutique stores um and the first well actually the second one we went to we just picked up some sweeties, so Caleb wanted to try these. They're American hard candy. He doesn't actually like them very much, so he's yeah, given ones, some the, of them to his dad. So the, the only one I like is apple. Yeah. And it is the worst one in the pack. Because, because there was only one? Yeah. Yeah. And so, like all the others I had like 12, 12 or 13. We then picked up these. We have to be quiet. Which about. we have to be a bit quiet about. So these are the Cinnamon Fire Jolly Ranchers. Now... When we got home, Caleb asked Tony, um, did you shut the door through there? Yeah. yeah. Well, we asked Tony what his favourite Jolly, Jolly Rancher was, and he said the cinnamon ones, but you can't get them here. So this is a really big bag of them. It's 13 ounces. Um, now, it was £6.99, which is a ridiculous price for a bag of candy, but that will definitely go into Tony's either stocking over Christmas or as an... Um, as part of his birthday present this week. Might have to do it as birthday present because he might see this video and then he'll know what's going to be in his stocking. Yeah, so so got... we might have to give it to him with his birthday. And his, and his birthday's in three days. So that was the little kind of goodies store. And then we went into another little store that had all kinds of handmade stuff that um, yeah. that Caleb wanted to pick something out and he chose this. A little magpie. Little magpie there, so were, much detail. there was other little birdies there was a black bird there were blue tits there were several little birdies weren't there yeah magpies but he looks really realistic other than being small there was also like owls and what else was there there was humongous giraffes left from like here all the way up to there yeah to the ceiling so you're going to put that up in your room aren't you yeah. your little new little magpie and then I picked up a couple of gifts, again, in that same little store. So one of these little hangers for Caleb's teacher. The influence of a great teacher can never be erased. We think he's got a really good teacher this year, so that seemed like a good one for her. I've then got a member of my team at work that 
Um, I sometimes have to remind her how that she is good and that she knows what she's doing. She sometimes needs that reminder. So I thought this was quite cute for her. Sometimes life is tough, but remember, so are you. Um, so she does know what she's doing. And then we also got this for me to give to my mum, who really is, you know, I, I, I don't know what I'd do without my mum. She is, she's my rock. She always has been. I was a, a late arrival in the family, so I was almost raised as an only child. My brother and sister are much older than I am. So mum and I have always been very close. She used to come out every year to see me when I lived in the States. And we had some fabulous times together. Um, and she's now in her 80s, obviously getting much older. Um, she's got some disabilities, so she can't get around as much as she did. Um, but also, always try to make time to either give her a call or go and see her and have a sit and have a cup of tea and a chat. We're going to go and pop and see her tomorrow, I think. So that's just to go in with her. She likes a little bag of presents with small things in rather than anything big. So that will go in with her little bag of presents. So that was the little kind of boutique store places that we shopped at. And then we went to Primark. And what was the first thing we got at Primark, Caleb? Mm, what was it? I think it was pyjamas. Oh, yeah, jumper. It was your new Christmas jumper. Oh, yeah. So it is a PlayStation jumper. I'm I'm yet to be convinced it's very Christmassy, although apparently because it's got snowflakes, snowflakes. on, that it makes it it makes it Christmassy. Yes. It's got yeah. It's also got all the buttons. It's got square, cross, triangle, and circle. Because those are the buttons on the controller. Okay. It's got some tro controllers, Christmas flakes around here. It's got a PS4 sign. So I guess when you're a ten-year-old boy, not really wanting cute little Santas on your jumpers. This one works, and he can wear a Christmas jumper for school next week on Christmas jumper day, and be um, and be um, and still be quite Christmassy. Okay, so then we spotted this paper as we were checking out at um, Primark, which is um, it's got sausage dogs on it. We have a friend that's got a little sausage dog and um, we see the dog quite often because he goes to the dog minder next door to the child minder. So the children are at the child minder and the doggies at the dog minder. Um, so when mum comes to pick them up, she often gets the doggy first. So we've seen him since he was a little puppy and Caleb's quite yeah. oh, no, he, quite likes little Eddie, don't you? He, he's a, yeah, his name's Eddie. Um, he's about the same size as him. Yeah, he is now. He wasn't when they first had him, was yeah, he? He was teeny him, tiny. He was like from his tail all the way up to the, yeah. this bit. This bit. So and then Kayla picked up some little fruit gums, Frutella fruit gums, while we were in Primark. And then one thing as a woman, you can never have enough of our bras. Um, some of the ones that I had were getting quite... Um, I don't know, just, you know how they get, they're quite saggy. Some of the wired ones, the wires had come out um, and I was just getting a bit frustrated with bras. So I've treated myself to bras. If I put them on the couch, I can show you them better. So this set is um, the wire-free ones, so they don't have any wires in them. And there's a pink, a white, and on the other side, a really pretty spotty grey, grey and white spot. Um, and they were three bras for eight pounds, which I thought was a very good price. And then I also went a bit mad. I got a three pack of the plunge ones, which have the lacy on them. So there's kind of a musty, dusty pink. There's a more of a burgundy with a plain um, cup and lace on the edge. And then a dark green. So I thought they were quite Christmassy colours, quite nice. Um, and just a bit of pop of colour in those. And they were also eight pounds for three bras so for 16 pounds i got six new bras there and i know they won't last as long as the expensive bras but to be fair the expensive ones i've bought in the last few years the wires come out of them and stick in me and i don't know i just I, it's something i always struggle with i don't know if that's a female population problem or if it's just me um so if these just last me until spring summer i could spend another 16 pounds and get six more bras and i'll be quite happy with that so then we got this jolly fellow. Yeah. He's quite big, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bigger pillow, I think. He's not bigger than the um, normal pillows. No. So 
um, it's a sandy pillow with his eyes closed. He has some rosy red cheeks, yep. a moustache, a red nose. He's trying to be Rudolph now. Yeah. Um, How much was he? What does it say on the tag? Can uh, you remember? Was it eight pounds? It was. On the back, it'll say it. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Yeah. So that we just bought that as a little extra a decoration belt. for Christmas. A belt around me. And then you have to excuse my wobbly camera here. I'm. I haven't got the tripod out, and I'm trying to juggle all sorts of things. So then, so I wanted some new pajamas. I wanted Christmas pajamas. But Caleb became obsessed with getting a mask to put over his eyes when he goes to sleep. Don't know why, but... So we spotted this little set. Now, I am a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. It's even got Tigger on. And this has got... Come in a bit closer, please, Caleb. So this has got Winnie the Pooh um, pyjamas. And if I zoom in there, you can see the pyjamas there with honey on. And, and then it has got a little honey eye mask to put over your face when you're going to sleep so, and honey it's got um eeyore tigger uh piglet the on there piglet uh piglets in that corner yeah and two um honey pots so instead of i've already got two lots of winnie the pooh pajamas and now i've got a third set because caleb wanted an eye mask so i gave in it's to the pressure it's from christopher robin and then spotted these, which I really just liked. A bit like the bras, you can never have too many. Just a little three pack of um, knickers. They were three pounds. A white and pink, a kind of a, a neutral tone with um, cream lace on the edge. And then a dotty um, peach with dots on. And they've all got pretty lace on the edges. So they were three pairs for three pounds, which again, can't beat that price. So then, we also picked up this little, we'll do for a present for somebody. It's a PlayStation, um, just a little notebook to write in. Okay, so that's just a little, it was £4, £4.50 for a little notebook. So then I picked out a new Christmas jumper. I've gone quite simple this year um, with just, it's got love on it and two sparkly antlers. This was £12. It's quite a nice length. The back is slightly longer than the front. Caleb, can you just hold it up a little bit? There you go. The back, as you can see, is a bit slightly longer than the front, which I like that look. Um, and it's just a little bit different, something. And it's nice bright red colour. You can't really see the bright in here in the light, but it is a nice bright Christmas red. Um, it looks a bit more orangey on camera, I think. Um, but yeah, that one will go nicely with things that I've got planned for um, Christmas jumper wearing over the holidays. And then finally in Primark, we got a couple of items for Daddy for his birthday this week. So this video won't go up until he's had his birthday presents. Um, so we got this grey Captain Marvel... Mm -hmm. Captain America, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel, Captain America um, sweatshirt. Tony only likes kind of neutral colours. He does like the Marvel and Avengers sorts of character things, um, but he doesn't wear very much that's got any patterns or anything on it. So we have to be a little bit careful what we buy him. Um, but we thought he would like this sweatshirt because he's just got the Captain America shield on it. And then to go with that, we got him. he is going to see the... Is it three Star Wars movies back to back, whatever it is, two or three, in a couple of weeks' time when it comes out at the movies? Um, so we got him this t shirt. He can wear that that night or at any time, really. So, how much was that t shirt, Caleb? This t shirt is. It's going to be on the back of that tag. Six pounds. Six pounds. And how much was the Captain America one? Can you see a tag on that? There's no tag on this one. Wait, yeah, there is. Never mind. Okay. This one was ten pounds. Yeah, so that's quite quite decent price. Again, you know, you don't you get what you pay for at Primark. I think you get more than what you pay for at Primark. It doesn't always last a long time, but actually, it's um it is pretty pretty good value because often I get fed up with something after one year anyway, and I'm wanting to replace it. So then the last thing we got was again something for Tony for his Christmas present, just some thermal socks. He spends most of his working day outside. Um, and we got some Christmas socks for him, which are just plain thermal socks. If we got Christmas socks, he wouldn't wear them, would he, Caleb? No, I don't <laughs> like wearing any. The only thing he likes wearing is dark things. Yeah. He likes wearing dark things or light grey things. Yeah. 
And then there was one more thing that Caleb spotted that he decided he would like to have for when we go out for Christmas dinners or Christmas parties. And what was that, Caleb? If I can get it the right way. A tie. A tie. And what's it got on it? Let me zoom in. Candy canes and snowflakes. Candy canes and snowflakes. And how much was that? Three pounds? Three pounds. Yeah. So he got himself a new Christmas tie to wear if we go anywhere fancy I'll over Christmas. I'll try it on soon. You can soon. So then when we first went into the shopping centre, we both spotted something on a kiosk in the middle of the of the shopping centre. Um, and we were going to wait and said, well, that's something we'll get after Christmas. But then when we walked back and passed it a couple of times, we kept looking. And in the end, we just decided to buy one. So over here, you can see we've got a new lamp. So it looks it, quite plain and boring, a silver tube. Nice. Does it smell nice? Yeah. So inside the lamp, if I can get a bit closer without falling over some of this stuff, there's a little cup and you can either put a wax melt in there or we've put some water and we've put a couple of drops of this um, essential oil. So this is the spa break one, which it won't, there you go, spa break which is vanilla and sandalwood and it really is smells like a really like top top range spa that's that sort of smell um so you just put a couple of drops of that in and you get the aroma from the lamp as well but the beauty of the lamp is Caleb you want to show how it works do you you just yeah. tap well it, it it works half the time no, it works it. all the time if you tap it properly so you tap it once to get it to come on then tap it again tap it twice to make it come brighter the third time it was really bright and then the fourth time it turns off so then if you take it back up or do you want to turn the light off first I'll turn the light off first. and show how it looks in the dark which we've got the christmas tree lights on so it's not lamp. completely dark but we got the lamp you can still see it right. okay. one. Oh. Eh. so there's the first one there's the second one and there's the third one and we just love this we thought it looked like winter trees and the blue, they had it with all different colour um, transparencies inside. There was an orange one. No, leave it as it is. There was an orange one. There was red ones. There were ones with different patterns, not just the trees, but different patterns. There were some that would be ideal for a children's room with like love hearts or space on them. Yeah, there were 3D. 3D one, yeah. So these really were lovely. And you, you don't have to put a wax melt or a essential oil in, but you can and it will heat that and you get the aroma as well as the beautiful glow. And we just thought after the Christmas lights are all gone and everything looks really plain, this would be really nice to have on in the living room in an evening when we're just all sitting in here, um, just to give it a little pop of colour, but also the nice smell that it will create. They were £25, which I thought was quite reasonable. And we did find out that their actual kind of storefront area is really, really close to where we live. So it's a few miles down the road from us. So we will go back and look at, they said they've got a bigger assortment of other kind of decorative items at their store not just these so we will go back perhaps after christmas and see if there's anything else that we can add to um give us some color in our room after christmas so that's a quick look at what we picked up today apologies for the quality of the trying to show you everything um we just needed to get it done because it is now getting quite late next time we do this sort of thing we'll have a better plan of how we how we show them to you and we'll probably put the tripod up and just do it from sitting and holding things up which is what i've seen most other people do so hopefully you kept up with us through this but we've had a really good day we're now off to get some dinner and then get all this stuff put away out of the sight of people who have birthdays this week <laughs>